welcome to There and Back Again, a Higher Things podcast production. Uh, we're your hosts. My name is Patrick Shervet. Uh, I work, I have the pleasure of working for uh, Higher Things. I am joined here by my pastor, uh, the Reverend Chris Hull. Pastor Hull, how are you doing? Oh, it's always fun times in my world, you know that, Patrick. If we want to get deep into it, we'd have to do a much longer podcast. But I am fantastic being here with you right now and with all of you. Yeah, uh, we we talked about doing this a couple weeks ago, and uh, we decided 20, 15 or 20 minutes would be best for you, uh, our watchers and listeners at home, uh, but we could probably talk for hours about random uh, nonsense. Random stuff we have before. Why yeah, not? I mean, why it, stop it happens. Now? Why not make a podcast out of it, though? That's, that's kind of what we're doing. Tell us about your idea uh, for the podcast. So, I mean, this happened a few weeks ago. Patty Boy and I were, were sitting here talking, and... And we're having lunch, we're about to do some stuff here at church, and we, we start talking about this one show on Netflix, and we talk for like 45 minutes about it, and we're talking about the Christological aspects in it, theological things, all this, and all of a sudden my wife says, can y'all just make something out of see She's the influence. Yeah. So if anyone says, how did this happen? Why did this come about? It's Allison Hall's fault. I'll give her address. At, no, I won't. At the end of the podcast. We give her credit and blame. Cat- Depending credit on which and way blame. you want to go. I think both. Anna, but she's been married to me for a while, so she's used to it. So as we were talking, it's like, well, this is the thing. We have so much going on in our culture. One thing we're not going to talk about in this podcast, Patrick and I agreed on it, is we're not going to talk about politics. That's You're one thing. We're going to stay on the other side of the street. Yeah, we're not talking about that stuff. But there's so much more that goes on in our society. Um, every single week, not just in movies and music, You see things on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, all these different things, things that happen in the religious realm, things that happen in the secular realm, and we're just going to talk about it, and it'll be different every single week. Yep. I think it's a great opportunity for us to, uh, I mean, we have some topics lined up, but the goal ultimately of what we've talked about doing is just kind of riding the wave of culture and seeing what comes up. Right. Um, And some stuff has happened in this past week that I think we should talk about. Uh, here in uh, in a, the next few episodes, but I think we have a lot of fun stuff we can talk about. Yep. Um, we watch way too much content and listen to way too much content, everyone at home. <laughs> ah, um, ah. So I think that gives us plenty of material too, but we can just look at the, the world around us and I think yeah. there's so much going on every day. Every yep. day that um, youth and young adults have to deal with and what they see in front of them. Um, that they might not necessarily understand or know right. what to do with. And how right. do they live their life as a Christian, as a Lutheran, um, in these trying times? Right. And that's why we kind of have the title for this is There and Back Again. So this podcast is not just about Lord of the Rings, fan <laughs> trivia and all that stuff. I know you may be disappointed. But There and Back Again was the, the Hobbit's tale, Bilbo Baggins writes. And the point of this is you live your life in the context of the divine service. You are contextualized by what happens on Sunday morning. So you go from Sunday to Sunday to Sunday, but there's a days in between there. How do you live as one forgiven by Christ, freed in the gospel, now serving and loving your neighbor with all this stuff? We're not of the world, but we do live in the world. And how do you go from church back to church? How do you hear these things, receive these things? Are they a blessing to you? Are they a burden to you? So we're going to talk about some of that. Yeah. And I think a big thing is is so frequently we would want to go through life with blinders on because there's so much negativity in the world. Right. Um, but unfortunately, we're not always able to do that. Um, so it, it's I think it's good that we're kind of jumping into the deep end of the pool. Um, certainly, some of our episodes are going to be more fun. Um, and just the ones we talked about, I know we'll have fun with because I, I have a feeling I will be a great... Um, just my overall melancholy will balance that out and enjoy <laughs> quite well throughout oh, this podcast. Oh, it'll be too fun. It'll be too fun. Yeah, for sure. But I like what you say with blinders, though. That's the reality is it, we, we don't jump into just worldliness. But the reality is you, and even when I say the reality, it's not trying to justify it. It's just, hey, you read book. Even take Lord of the Rings that we just mentioned. It, it's a fictional book. It is not a theological book. People read it. They read magazines. They read comics. We watch movies. You know, like you have the Eternals that came out. Mm-hmm. What about that? 
You know, all these different movies that come out, TV shows that are out there. What about an episode of a TV show? I mean, there's certain episodes of TV shows that hit people more than those that just watch that show. Yep. It becomes the, oh, I'm going to use the word, the zeitgeist. Is that the word? The zeitgeist? That, yep. that reality, it, it means something to our culture. And the apostles did this. They were in, they were in that. Greeks to Greeks, Jews to Jews, things of that nature. And how do you not just have joy in it, but then also these can give you some talking points with people too. Mm -hmm. So we're not just going to walk into a coffee shop and say, in the words of St. John the Baptist, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But All that you consume you is know, evil. All, you den of vipers, you know, you don't grab the cords and whip them out. But in these conversations, you can listen to this podcast and go, oh, that gave me... A talking point, something that's easy to bring into a conversation and just have a little more in common with people. Meet them where they are as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think what's interesting, um, the original topic uh, that we were discussing that kind of brought up this I idea, I, I don't think should be any secret, was Midnight Mass on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, right. And everything surrounding uh, Midnight Mass it's been out for a while. I'm sure if our audience at home, at home is going to watch it, they've watched it. They've and seen it already, probably. They've, they've yeah. watched the news stories. They've seen um, the forum threads. Or the, I dated myself just now. By yes, you did. Forum, forum. The, the Reddit <laughs> threads um, and things like that. But I think that's the perfect kind of opportunity for us to say this is what – these are the things that are around us. This is what's around our youth, et cetera. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so for us taking the opportunity to actually delve into things um, and almost um, kind of take them apart and tell you how we feel about them. And, and the some days we we'll agree through. on stuff. Yeah. Some sure. days we'll disagree. Like if we talk about Olivia Rodrigo one day. You know, I mean, you know who this is, right? I, I am Olivia Rodrigo. Well yes, I am. I'm on the TikTok. Like you are on the TikToks. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, I, I was listening uh, to 96... That's the other problem. We do live right outside of Houston, so if we mention radio stations, it's basically the one I was listening to is the main pop one. 96.5. She 96.5. She had three songs, three different songs within a 45-minute time mm -hmm. period. So to, to, the reality is, and I have strong views of her, some of the young ladies in my congregation tell me I'm an old fuddy-duddy of my views, but they're my views anyways. But that's the thing is just listening to these things. What is she singing about? Mm -hmm. You like the tune, but what's actually... Same with like Lutheran hymnody. You may love the tune, but what's actually being sung? What are you confessing? What do you right. believe when you do this stuff? And yeah, like when we watch Midnight Mass, you can say, oh, well, that's about vampires or something. You should... But what's going on in it? What is it saying about our culture? What's it saying about our society? Yeah. And something especially like Midnight Mass, I think, created as... Not even necessarily a critique on religion, because I really don't think, personally, that it is a critique on religion. I think no. it's a critique on society as yeah. a whole. Yeah. Um, I think <clears throat> Roman Catholicism was just used as um, a, a method for them to get there. It was a medium for Exactly. It, yeah. A medium to get his point across. Yeah. Well, um, because if you did a, a Missouri Synod Lutheran church, mm -hmm. everyone would have been like, what's Missouri Synod Lutheran? 100%. They yeah. would have had to look it up, and then they wouldn't have mm -hmm. watched the show. Roman Catholicism makes sense. And the thing is with it, it's saying what what really I got out of it. See, we're already getting into this a little mm -hmm. bit here. The reality of, and I've said there's basically kind of two types of people in the world. They're either selfish or sacrificial. Mm -hmm. And you really saw that come out in this show. Yep. Those who were sacrificial in nature and those that were selfish. Mm -hmm. And it was brought out by the blood of this yep. vampire, right? That The blood brings it out. And does not the blood of Christ bring that out? Mm -hmm. The reality is the blood of Christ, if one is selfish, lives in smug hypocrisy, it brings out the worst in you. It brings out judgmental. You use Jesus to judge others. Or if it's sacrificial, the reality is that blood of Christ, it humbles you. It brings out that love for others in you. And you see that in that show. So yet again, it's just a way of being able to bring in, if you sit down, and I know this is coming out yet again, it's like some evangelism thing, but it's not that. It's more being able to talk with people to love people, to have conversations with people. Mm -hmm. You're not going to sit down with Walther's proper distinction between law and gospel and talk with them. Yep. But this, you can sit there and start having that dialogue. Command and promise, smug and troubled, mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, I don't, I mean, it's not even necessarily an apologetics thing. It's being able to have a conversation with someone. Right. Um, and we've lost that a little bit yep. with this past year, with 2020 and everything. Thanks, COVID. Yeah, thanks a lot. 
but but maybe it's good because it's it's forced us to rediscover what it means to have articulate dialogue with people be patient with people as you talk to them listen to them learn where they are and mm -hmm. also where you are yep i mean different types of music i i bet if i i had 10, 12 people in the room we'd have 12 different views on what is good music you would say something sure. like olivia rodrigo and i'd say you're a terrible person no not that i'm joking but you know some would say acdc some would say jimmy buffett some would say batch or bach however you want to say it the reality is it's so diverse there we have the unity of the gospel mm -hmm. and everything else there's a lot of diversity Yep. I mean, and that gives us plenty of opportunities and plenty of topics uh, to discuss. Yep. Uh, forewarning to our uh, young viewers, our teen viewers, our youth viewers, uh, we do not profess to be cool. Never did. We, Never gonna. We, we do not think we are cool. We are not trying uh, to reach the youth. Uh, we might say things horribly uncool. Um, we're not trying to be hip. We just want to have a conversation Um and also invite uh, our audience to participate as well. Yeah. If you guys have ideas for topics, um, please uh, feel free to uh, contact uh, me. My email address is super duper simple. It's Patrick at higherthings.org. Uh, we record this every week um, and we are on a mission uh, to bring light to certain topics uh, as they are going on in the world. And I thought that was going to be your email for super duper simple. I was like, that's an email, man. I, I should make that. My email is super duper simple. We'll create a super duper at simple email and not have it. At least you didn't email. say like at Hotmail or Yahoo or AOL.com. Then he would have really dated. I actually himself. want to understand how people still have AOL email addresses. Allison does. My wife has an AOL. I don't understand. How do you have an say. AOL email address? I don't know. We still dial up at home, too. You know, I try to get on my cell phone somehow. <laughs> There's a noise at the other end. If you don't know that joke, ask your grandma. Um, but the thing is... The, the thing is, too, I like that you say give us ideas because there's things people want to talk about. Mm -hmm. It may not be something that was on your and my radar that week, but it's on someone's, and we can discuss yep. it and um, hopefully learn something. We'll benefit. Everyone else will benefit. It'll be fun times. I'm For looking sure. forward to it. For sure. We're going to have a great time. Uh, that is the first episode of There and Back Again, clocking in just at uh, 11 minutes or so. Nice and short uh, we'll continue having these short conversations on all kinds of topics. I hope you uh, join us uh, throughout the Thanksgiving uh, and Christmas seasons, and we'll, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Pastor Hole. Take it easy. Thank you.